all knew it was coming one way or the other. I mean, it is January. So Replicas is a new sci-fi thriller kind of movie that stars Keanu Reeves and Alice Eve and the name of some guy that I'm not remembering, but I see him in a lot of movies, and if you see him, you'll be like, oh, okay, that dude, that's who Hannibal was talking about. Except you'll somehow telepathically know exactly who I was talking about, even though there's other guys in this movie. I'm rambling a little bit here, but that's because this movie is an incoherent mess, and it, it juggled with my mind, and so I'm juggling with my thoughts trying to talk to you about it. For some strange reason, I also think there's that guy from the T-Mobile commercials. I think he's in this movie. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like he's in the movie. Maybe somebody can look that shit up. Like I I said replicas is a sci-fi movie it stars keanu reeves keanu reeves in this movie is a very smart neurologist or i should say neurologist he is studying technology that would allow a person to transfer their consciousness into another state of being like a robot or an animal or something under a lot of pressure to get this project done and then something tragic happens i feel like i shouldn't tell you what happens because that would ruin the setup for the rest of the movie just in case you're curious about seeing this that i'll say that something bad happens and then he has to kind of use that technology to get himself and some people that he cares about out of a really rough spot. The rest of the movie is just kind of him becoming a mad scientist and things are getting deeper and deeper and the rabbit is going deeper and deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole and Ugh, like I said, it's a January movie. I will say this, I like Keanu Reeves generally. I mean, come on. Keanu Reeves is like one of the most likable actors. Seriously, the dude can dodge bullets, the dude has perfect headshots, and he loves dogs. What's not to like? He's trying somewhat in this movie. Can I give him that? I feel like I shouldn't be able to give him that, but he is trying, at least. A little bit. I'll also say the premise of this movie is also something that's been done in other sci-fi films over the years. We've seen a lot of films deal with the concept of transferring consciousness into different bodies and all of the implications that that would imply. At least the premise and the setup of the movie kind of is sort of interesting and then there's some stuff that happens in the third act of the movie that's not completely awful. It's a January movie so there's really only one way that I can describe it and you already know how I'm going to describe it. It's shit, okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. No, it's shit. It's a shit movie. Granted, it's somewhat enjoyable bullshit if you look at the movie in a certain light or maybe there's some parts of the movie that are so hilariously bad that you can have fun with the movie. Generally speaking, as a film, no, it's shit and there are several reasons why. For one thing, let's talk about the characters and the plotting and the structure of the story and the setup for the characters especially. Let's talk about Keanu Reeves for a second. Keanu Reeves doesn't even feel like he's playing a character in this movie. He feels like he's playing Keanu Reeves. I feel like this is both a directing and a writing issue as well as an acting issue. Like, Keanu Reeves never really gets to sell you on the idea that he is this brilliant brilliant neurologist. He's sure he says a bunch of technobabble bullshit and he kind of goes through the motions of demonstrating why he could be a smart guy. But not once during this entire movie did I buy that Keanu Reeves was this brilliant neurologist. He felt very miscast. The setup for his character was kind of weak. In fact, I'll just go ahead and say it. The setup for all the characters in this movie is weak. There's no setup at all. There's no payoff. There's, there's just nothing. There's nothing to any of these other characters. This is where the writing and the acting kind of form a gigantic, ugly, shitty symbiote and they just ruin the experience for me. Yeah, shitty writing like okay maybe the setup for a character isn't good maybe a character's actions don't make that much sense maybe the character is saddled with some really shitty dialogue because <laughs> trust me a lot of the characters in this movie were okay maybe you can accept that maybe you can bypass that a little bit if the performances for the characters are at least you know you feel like you can tolerate them fortunately this movie has an odd mix of really shitty writing really terrible dialogue and really awful performances like pretty much everybody in this movie is bad just kind of sitting there like 20 minutes into the movie like what why is Alice Eve in this movie? Some parts of this movie where her line delivery is so awful, it's so robotic and stiff that sometimes I actually had to wonder, like, okay, is she actually an android in this movie? The director get her to play an android and she just didn't know it? Like, is this kind of like the 99 cent Dollar Tree version of Blade Runner or something? No idea, but her line delivery, her dialogue was terrible. Really, the line delivery and the dialogue for almost every character in this movie is cringe-inducing. The movie has, like, a $30 million budget, and you can make a lot of shit work, I feel like, with a 30 million dollar budget. This is a 30 million dollar budget that is applied to this movie and it makes everything that is shot in this movie feel like it's more like, you know, a 10 dollar budget. So many weird ass awful moments of really shitty CGI and green screen. Moments that made me just go, holy shit, oh my god, you you actually thought that would look good? And you add the fact that some parts of that narrative feel very predictable, like fairly obvious to see, like in the first 10 to 15 minutes of the movie, I already knew the whole twist of the movie. I knew exactly how things are gonna play out. I feel like my love and affection for Keanu Reeves is actually going to save this movie. Like, I feel like I'm not going to shit on it as much as I probably should. And you have terrible writing, you have terrible acting, you have terrible line delivery and dialogue. You have really awful CGI and green screen. The premise in a movie that's kind of interesting, but then it starts 
meandering probably about 30 minutes in and then by the end of the movie you don't even really care anymore. I will say Replicas is a pretty shitty movie. It's not complete shit though. It's Kryptonite. Typical January throwaway type of movie. It's just, ugh, I feel like God is teasing me somehow. Those are my thoughts on Replicas. Stay tuned. I have a lot of other videos to catch up on. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. And if you like what you see, tell me how you feel and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.